Good day everyone. Here's our math challenge for today. And here's our question. Solve for the value of 9 over 5 multiplied by a plus b given the following equation. We have a times square root of a plus b times square root of b equals 183 and b times square root of a plus a times square root of b equals 182. Now, if you want to try this problem, just pause this video. We have 20 seconds and timer starts now. And time's up. Now, let's answer this question together. Our goal in this question is to find the value of 9 over 5 multiplied by the sum of A and B. So, given these two equations, we have A times square root of A plus B times square root of B equals 183 and B times square root of A plus A times square root of B equals 182. Now, how are we going to answer this question? Now, notice that we have a whole number A outside the radical sign and we have two of them. So, what will happen if we add those two equations? So, if we add this equation, we get A times square root of A plus B times square root of B plus B times square root of A plus A times square root of B. And 183 plus 182 will give us 365. Now at this point, let's focus on this sum. Again, notice that we have A outside the radical sign and we have B also outside the radical sign. Now what we're going to do is to rearrange the terms on the left hand side so that A and A are close to each other. So we have A times square root of A plus A times square root of B plus B times square root of A plus B times square root of B. From the first two terms, we can factor out A. If we do that, we get a multiplied by square root of a plus square root of b. On the last two terms, we can factor out b. If we do that, we get b multiplied by square root of a plus square root of b. Now, we have a common term square root of a plus square root of b. So, we can factor out square root of a plus square root of b. Therefore, we have square root of a plus square root of b multiplied by a plus b and it is equivalent to 300. And 65. Now at this point, notice that we have now a plus b. Now, if we get the value of square root of a plus square root of b, then we're done. So let's set aside this equation and let's focus on square root of a plus square root of b. Now we want to find the value of this expression. To do that, we need to raise this expression by the power of 3. Now the question is, why raise to 3? Why not raise to 2 or raise to 4? Because if we raise square root of a plus square root of b to the third power, we will apply this identity. If we have x plus y raised to 3, it is equivalent to x cubed plus 3x squared y plus 3xy squared plus y cubed. Now using this identity, square root of a plus square root of b raised to 3 is equivalent to square root of a raised to 3 plus 3 times square root of a squared times square root of b plus 3 times square root of a times square root of b squared plus square root of b raised to 3. Now, square root of a raised to 3 is the same thing as square root of a multiplied 3 times. Thus, this is equivalent to a times square root of a. Also, square root of b raised to 3 is equivalent to b times square root of b. And then, what we're going to do is to group a times square root of a and b times square root of b, like this. And notice that on our given equation, we have the value of a times square root of a plus b times square root of b. This is equivalent to 183. Now, let's continue. Notice that square root of a quantity squared is just a. Therefore, this term can be written as 3a times square root of b. Also, square root of b quantity squared is just b, so the last term can be written as 3 times b times square root of a. 
Now, we can factor out 3 in these two terms. If we do that, we get 3 times the quantity a times square root of b plus b times square root of a. And also notice that we have the value of a times square root of b plus b times square root of a. That is equivalent to 182. Now, let's substitute those values. We have 183 for this expression. And also, this expression is equivalent to 182. So we have square root of a plus square root of b raised to 3 is equivalent to 183 plus 3 times 182. Now, 3 times 182 will give us 546. Now, 183 plus 546 will give us 729. Now, to get the value of square root of a plus square root of b, we get cube root on both sides. Now, cube root of square root of a plus square root of b raised to 3 is just square root of a plus square root of b. And cube root of 729 is just 9. Therefore, the value of square root of a plus square root of b is just 9. So our equation now becomes 9 times a plus b equals 365. And take note that we want the value of 9 over 5 times a plus b. So what we're going to do is to divide both sides by 5. Now on the left hand side, 9 times a plus b over 5 can be written as 9 over 5 times a plus b. And 365 divided by 5 is just 73. Therefore, the value of 9 over 5 times the sum of a and b must be equal to 73. And as always, we are done.